win this bitch. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I ain't about to spend all my money at the motherfucking casino. Talking about some of these last two dollars. I'm not going to lose. My last two cents. <laughs> no, no say. <laughs> no say. <laughs> this is a grandmama for show, for show. This is a grandmama who then went there a couple times, okay? She had to show, you know what I'm saying? She had to show what the hell was going on. She liked the blues, okay? Because the fact that these last two dollars came out like that. <laughs> Baby, I'm not going to lose. So don't let nobody make you lose your last two cents, your last bit of cents you got left, okay? You know what I'm saying? You just now getting to the light. Don't let nobody fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? It don't take that long to get it, it ain't that hard for you to get to the other side. Okay? You don't stay too far from the other side of the tracks. So we're gonna wait till you, you know what I'm saying, a little further, you know, before you entertain some things. So it's something about don't entertain, like. Listen here. Listen here. Some of y'all really like challenges. You like doing shit because it looks fun. Okay. Oh, it looks fun. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Okay. Sit your ass down and focus on what you're focusing on right now. Okay. Ain't nothing fun. Mm -mm. It ain't that fun. You ain't missing nothing. You ain't missing nothing. You've been outside. You've been outside. Sit your ass down and get done what you need to get done. I don't care how much you care about them people and what they say and how they do. Okay? I don't care. They not you. You came in this world <laughs> alone and you're going to go on right on back out of here alone. Look, I just heard you might have came from the same coochie, but you're going to be in a separate grave. Okay? So. Don't put yourself in tempting situations. Don't put yourself in situations. If you ain't all the way ready for what it's going to take, you're still doing some things. You still got some other stuff. So, you know, we be wanting to help people, you know. This is going to be somebody's way of breaking no contact with you. They need some help. They need some help. Okay. You're helping yourself finally. And isn't it ironic? Every time you start investing in yourself, all of a sudden you get pulled away again. It's a cycle. Have you noticed it? I've been waiting on you to notice it. The cycle. You notice it now. So now that you notice it, don't you get your ass back on that ride. Oh, well, maybe one, two, three, maybe it, and, and, um, and this time going to be different. 
just like the last one. And the time before that, it was your cousin. Time before that, <clears throat> it was that man. You know what I'm saying? You had to show up because he had, you know what I'm saying? So you put something to the side and, well, I'ma just go on it. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, everything got threw off motherfucking track. What they said in that song, one night of pleasure turned into a lifetime of pain. Okay. Some of y'all probably even got pregnant in some shit. I don't know. So it's like, as you see that and you learn from those, is I'm hearing, don't make the same decision. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. You did it already. You experienced it already. Don't do it again. Unless you like the pain. Because some people are turned on by pain. Some people are turned on by being hurt. Some people are turned on by being hurt and being, you know what I'm saying, going through pain and, you know, being controlled and things of that nature, right? Cool. Do you, if it works for you. But if you're doing that shit and it don't work for you, you might want to reconsider how you choose to connect to the universe and people. Because something's being produced and it ain't your goals. It ain't the things that you said you was going to do and get done. But that bond getting closer though. That bond getting closer. You know what I'm saying? You feeling good. You feeling free. You getting money. But you ain't did none of that shit you said you was going to do. That's wild. Don't get distracted. This season, don't get distracted. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. It's been set out in front of you. Literally, you've been given the vision. You already, like, you literally have been given the vision. And that's what's wild. You keep ancestor this, ancestor this. Oh, this crap. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. Oh, mm. Because she showed and said that I tell you to leave my energy. <laughs> and I'm like, damn. Okay. But I'm hearing ancestor, ancestor, ancestor. But they been giving you the answer. So what the hell do you want? That's what I'm hearing. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, she fed up. Oh my gosh. She said, why you ain't finishing it? 103, 103. That's confirmation. This grandma said, get it done, baby. Get it done. We gave you the vision. Do it. What you afraid of? One step at a time. If you do a little bit every day, next thing you know, this time next year, that shit will be done. A little bit every day. Every day, my plants get time. My puzzle, I give at least a couple hours to that, depending on the section of what I'm working on. Like, everything gets its designated time of how much I give to it and what I do, right? And having that schedule, having that organization, it keeps me in alignment with, like, the shit I got to get done. You get what I'm saying? And, like, staying on it. So then now, somebody, what you doing? Like, if I'm busy, I'm busy. Like... I had somebody who wanted to come, you know what I'm saying? I was working on my puzzle one day and he was like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you want company or whatever. I said, you're going to help me with my puzzle. He's like, no, I'm going to just watch you. I said, I'll hit you up when I get done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll hit you up when I get done. Cause you ain't about to sit here and distract me from what I'm doing. <laughs> I got other shit that I'm doing. Like you ain't about to distract me. 
I got my puzzle to do. I'm talking about some, you could have just sat on my hand. No, I couldn't have. <laughs> no, I couldn't have. Baby, I got a time to beat. <laughs> okay, no, I couldn't have. <laughs> and so it's like, Heavy Stick to the Plan by Big Sean. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. You know the plan. You know the plan. Stick to it. And when those energies and people come around and they be tricky, okay? I want you to test it by just saying no. I can't do it. Because if you can't do it, you can't do it. Especially if you've been sacrificing and you finally doing something that you like for yourself. Don't you know sometimes people see people moving to a place of peace and stuff and they really be wanting to. Oh, I want a piece of that. Like it's a Kit Kat bar. Okay. Your spirit bar. They want a piece. Give me a break. Okay. Because they want to dump all their stuff on you and that's giving them a break. This ain't broke back mountain, baby. We ain't doing it. Okay. If you're not a villain in anyone's story, then are you really the main character in yours? There's a reason why a lot of people find that them same people that they devoted all this time and energy to and down the line, them people was talking about them like a dog. Find out what they really felt about them. Y'all heard that study of most people who they see as being their friend, that person don't see them as being theirs. We all have a role that we came to play. And when you choose your role, you don't step out of your role to associate outside of that role. So if I work, think about like with the military, right? Or whatever. I mean, I don't agree with it. Think about a construction site. And you all have a project that's being worked on, right? The project of life. <clears throat> Each person is assigned to a different area or a different job, but it's on the same project, okay? That's how we have to treat people we come in contact with. And sometimes we're on the same team. Sometimes we're on the same project. But sometimes we're not. And sometimes we're assigned on the same project. And then sometimes we're not. This month we ain't on the same project. Next month we might be back on the same project. You never know. And that's how our spirits align. Okay? I think about the regular sleep. Anything else? <laughs> Baby, she came through with the get through, okay? I fuck with it though. I like this type of stuff. Be straight to the point, honey. Get it all out, get it off your chest. Okay? Get it off your chest. What you know about me? What you, what you know about me? 
What you know about me? What you put your hands in my lip glosses? Stop it. My lip gloss is cool. <laughs> All the boys be tracking. They see me at their school. You can't see my lip gloss for real, but it be popping. My lips is pretty. I love my lips. What's your favorite feature on your body? I think my favorite feature is my mole. And it's so funny because I got it from my great grandmama. This one. And then I have a big one on my back. Then my favorite features are my moles. I've always loved them. And my eye, yep, moles and eyes. Cause baby, when I look at you, baby, you gonna see my soul and you gonna know this soul is here for you. Damn it. Sorry, let me stop. <laughs> ah, welcome back, Pooh. Your eyes, your lips, ooh, and yawns. Yes. Your eyes, your lips, and your nose. Ooh, your boobies. You said we grew up together. <laughs> Come through, boobies. Look, you said that got me thinking about you getting in that dress. <laughs> they was looking nice in that dress, though. Okay, you said your boobies, too. You better come through. Love for the ta -ta. Love for the tatas. Your voice. Ooh, listen. Someone who knows how to control their voice and like. Oh my gosh. Ultimate siren. Love it, Trini. Yes. Ooh, your ankles. You have pretty ankles. Look, some people do be having dark ankles. Okay. I got a couple dark spots. Okay. From shoe rubbing against them cheap ass shoes. Okay. Look, yeah, we both said siren at the same time. That's so funny. <laughs> I didn't even see you saying siren. It's something about knowing what you love about yourself and insinuating that, perfecting it. So, insinuate and perfect. Yes, she does have a beautiful voice. Yes. Oh, you have beautiful lips. Oh, my gosh. It's something about juicy lips. Oh, my gosh. Ah! I like blind niggas, too. Okay? So, that's why I like my eyes, too. Like, I'm blind, you blind. Let's be blind together. Okay? <laughs> Look, 10, 20, and 10, 20 together make 20. <laughs> yeah, we blind together in this bitch, okay? I love it. Give me a nigga with glasses, okay? Your lips and your feet. Oh, you got pretty feet, Hope. Oh. What color are y'all nails right now? What color y'all nails? My toes are red. They red right now. Oh. <laughs> Come through pink. Oh. Orange fingers and white toes. Ooh, I'm still purple on my fingers. Come through white toes, honey, okay? This is so beautiful. Oh, this is so beautiful. You got the sun card coming out with Big Mama. No. So she's confirming this was her in this reading. <laughs> I love when that happens. 
And then you got the devil in reverse. Okay. In reverse. And I like that because you got the ace of knives. So it's giving this vibe of there's no restriction. There's no restriction. And with this being the funeral home, like you don't even have a restriction to talk to her. It's just that sometimes she just be like, I told you already. Okay. That's all. You know, she wants you to learn how to make your own cornbread. You know, she keep standing over you and trying to, so she wants you to, you go figure it out. Okay, it's giving one of those, like, you know what? You just gonna have to go fall on your ass a couple times on your own. Okay. Okay, and you'll figure it out. Because what I'm not gonna do is ruin the what I got going on. To keep coming over here, to, like, that's what this is giving. So I gave you the key. You see Big Mama got a key on around her neck. I gave you the key. I gave you what you need. Now leave me alone while you take it and get it done. Okay? And come talk to me when you done with this part. Like this is what this is giving. Like, like go fold these clothes. And when you done folding them, call me. Okay? And then I'll tell you what to do next. That's what it's giving. And you still got the motherfucking clothes sitting on the dresser, okay? And you talking about some big mama, big mama. I told you to fold the damn clothes. <laughs> That's what this is giving. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I like this grandma's energy. <laughs> I like this grandma's energy. She was just like, listen, okay? Listen here. That's her thing. Listen here. <laughs> listen here. <laughs> so, yeah. It's cute, though. I'm here and I ain't think about you, though. But that's her way of saying she love you, though. <laughs> of her acting like she ain't thinking about you. <laughs> I stun <study> you. <laughs> the whole time she looking over your shoulder for real, for real. Just so much. <laughs> Them clothes up. Fold them clothes up, okay? So she can get her hand off her hip. <laughs> got her stressing out. You got me over here rubbing on my neck and shit like I'm stressed out. But it's like she like fussing about it. <laughs> this what she she like fussing about you wanting to like so like say you wanted to come over. She fussing, why these kids got always but fucking come over here? But she got all the food cooking on the stove and stuff. I made some love. Like, baby, you wanted them to come over here. Okay. <laughs> Night pool. 
<laughs> I was wondering why y'all was saying goodnight because I didn't see her message. It just came up. So it's giving one of those, like, she acting like she mad, but she got a pot of greens on the stove. Like, clearly you wanted company. So <laughs> what you talking about, okay? <laughs> So you also need to know that when your ancestors fuss at you and stuff, it's not always because, like, they got an issue with you, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes that's that's how they show. Like, but then it's one, it's one of those where it's just like, okay, put it this way. She wanted to be doing other things, but she accepted her role. So in the afterlife, it's like she be doing her own thing in the spirit world. Heavy jazz energy and like the blues. But it's like, she be living her life as a, as a spirit and you be feeling it. And so sometimes when you call her like, and you feel that frustration, it's because she her energy was doing something else. And it's like, but you call her so she came. Hopefully that makes sense. Like, she could be, you know what I'm saying, listening to her, you know, favorite song and, you know, whatever the case is. But then she hear you calling her. So then she like, what you want? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's giving that, okay? It's giving that. That's how she learned to love. And like show it but it was also self-sacrificial at the same time and that's why part of her right now is like do what you need to be doing right now because she wants to make sure that you know how to fish and not just get the food okay in this season of your life you're being taught how to fish. And you being taught how to fish, you got to mess up. You got to not have help. You got to know how to put the worm on the hook by yourself. I mean, I don't know. I wasn't putting the worm on the hook myself for a long time. I had somebody else do it, okay? I'm a fish and I'm going to catch the fish, but I ain't putting the worm on the hook, okay? But this is beyond the point, okay? Okay. <laughs> Your grandmother wants you to get to a place where you know how to hook your fish and reel it in and get it together. Okay? I'm hearing her say, you're going to have to get somebody to put the, put the worm on the hook, though. So she's not going to put the worm on the hook. Spiritually. You got to find somebody else to do or some other way to get the worm on the hook. That's what her energy is saying right now. She's saying, I gave you the bucket of worms. I gave you the fishing pole. I told you which lake to go to. Okay. Figure out the rest. That's what this is giving me. Figure out the rest. I like this girl. <laughs> she said, figure out the rest. You smart? <laughs> That's what she, she said. You smart? <laughs> like, if she mean it, like, you smart. You got, you can do this. Like, you got all the ingredients. Put that shit together. I keep hearing you smart. Okay. You smart. Whew. Channeling is such a beautiful thing. I love it. I love drifting into the energy. Like, I just get to... Uh, uh. All right, are you done? Yeah, because my mouth dry. You got the point. 
you got the point. You got the point of the message tonight. You understand the why. You understand next steps. Okay. Um, don't question yourself. Even if somebody else feel like you made the wrong decision. Y'all, why I look like I got a fro and then a ball sit on top of my head? cut like this back in the day when my granddaddy died my hair was cut like that in a fro like that that's exactly how my hair looked like that <laughs> like that little fro okay i got a picture of it i was like baby you was fine okay y'all so funny <laughs> oh child mm. Mm -mm. i forgot what i was talking about <sighs> this is how I know I'm sleepy. I gotta get up here. Oh, this was fun. Y'all. Okay, wait, what was I saying for real though? You <laughs> grandma, come back. <laughs> I'm done playing. Come back. 